Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. So we're going to be doing our Friday sketch. And today's sketch is actually from Viva. It's La Verve. And it is sketch... I'm trying to see which one it is. It's January week one. It was from back in 2012. I actually got this off of Pinterest. So what we're going to do is... I was thinking about stamping... It's like a leafy pattern that creates a flower. I wanted to put that for my focal point. So all I'm doing is getting it set up on the block. I'm inking it with my VersaFine Black Onyx ink. And I'm going to stamp it on a test sheet first. And this is just to make sure, because this is the first time I'm using the stamp, that it's stamping correctly. And then I was also thinking maybe I should do a green, you know, because my whole card thing right now, it's green, um, different greens, gold, and then I'm adding some black and brown. So I decided I would ink it up in an olive green color, just making sure I got good coverage of ink on my stamp. And then I'm just going to line it up as best I can, stamp down, and then pull straight up. And there's the flower now as I go to lay out my card I noticed that my stamp that I just did is way too big but first I got to set everything up so I can learn this important lesson so I'm just attaching my base sheet to a five and three-eighths by four and an eighth black sheet of paper and we're going to attach that to our base card. I primarily do uh, mostly A2 size cards, which are four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I pre cut three strips of uh, pattern paper. This is from the uh, Couture Creations Vintage Rose Garden. I'm still using the same pad. And I was just trying to figure out exactly how long I wanted to make it and then there was also I had left a little border and I realized it really wasn't gonna work that way so instead of having the border all around four sides I just have borders on the top and the bottom um, for the ones that go vertical it's on the left and the right so right now I'm just measuring out everything trying to make sure I got it to the right length so that it'll uh, mimic the layout that we're working with. All right, and then I also, last minute, decided to use uh, the stripe side on this particular one that I had put down, and I had just finished cutting down my second piece, trying to make sure that it was the right size. Just gonna tape that real quick and then I'm just trimming off little bits so I can make sure that it's all uniformed and then for this longer one here I'm trying to figure out by eye how long I want to make it and then I trim it down and just make sure that my on my black piece here I'm lining it up to the very edge laying it down and then trimming and then that will go up there so I'm just reworking the pattern and when I lay it here I realize it's way too big so toss it new plan so <laughs> I'm digging through because I know I've told you guys this before but whenever you do your die cutting and you have the machine out if you're cutting stuff like circles squares whatever always do extra because you never know when you'll need it so in the process of looking through my bag of goodies that I have I um, wind up finding a brown circle a stitch circle and I have a white plain circle that fit on top of it and it 
wound up working. Um, I'm just trying to figure out stuff, you know, because you know how when you dig through things, you start to see it over and over and you realize you're looking at the same piece. So that's why I had laid out those other ones. And so since I'm using this one, obviously that other stamp is going to be way too big. So in this point, I'm trying to figure out what stamp set am I going to use? Am I just going to type it? Stamp in like my sentiment, just make it like thank you or happy birthday or whatever the sentiment's going to be. I couldn't decide. So I paused, um, wind up pausing the camera, trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to use because I was really having a hard time figuring out where to go to next because my original plan got canceled. So off camera, I did make a decision. I decided to go with. Um, it's like birds with the branches and some flowers and then I'm going to attach a thank you to it so right now I'm just laying down my three main pieces and once I have everything laid down I decided for um, my image I was going to put that on foam dots And then we're just going to tape down our sentiment. I just want it kind of peeking out right there. And though I do like the stamp that I did, I knew that I wanted to take the Spectrum Noir. And I'm coloring all the flowers in the red. And then the centers, I'm going to do color with a black Spectrum Noir marker. And then on top of that, I'm actually going to use a Wink of Stella brush. Um, this one is the black glitter from Wink of Stella. You'll see that in a little bit. I'm just going through real quick trying to hit all the flowers. And then I'm also going to color in eventually the bird and the branches using the same distress marker. So right now I'm using that center. And I'm actually going to realize that I missed a flower. So I'm going to color in that center, grab the marker back, and then color that through. And then while it's added, I decided to go ahead and just hit all the berries and the closed flowers as well. And then once I started doing that, I was like, yeah, we're going to have to color the rest. So that's why I grabbed the Tim Holtz Distress It marker. Excuse me. And that marker is Vintage Photo. And I used that to color the branches. And then I also use it to color in the birds. And it doesn't take long. I just wanted to kind of take away some of that stark white away. And then on the beaks is a little small um, little triangle. So I just took some of the, um, I think it's carved pumpkin, um, and colored those in. And then the card is done. Oh no, that's where I grabbed the Orca Stella. Yep. So now we're doing the inside of the flower so that the flowers itself have a little bit of glitter to it, depending on how you tilt it in the light. Just gives it a little, you know, something special. And then there was part of that piece there, it looked like it was a little bit crooked, so I was trying to straighten it. But I just laid it back down. And then real quick, this is trying to get up closer here so you can see the photo of the sketch right next to the card. Thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share button. And bear with me because, you know, we're getting it's back after the holidays and the parties and the food and getting back into the swing of things just bear with me um this sunday we'll be having another video and then um this tuesday coming up will be our first technique video for the year all right you guys have a great weekend